Hello everybody, I'm Just Lance and I'm thrilled to have you all back for another video. Guys, um, I didn't think this would happen anytime soon, but I'm up to over 200 subscribers. I got 204. I'd like to thank Monica Gillum for subscribing here the other day. Uh, Mike's Double Edge. And there's a few other people that I need to go ahead and thank for subscribing. I'll just go ahead and I'll put everybody down in the, I'll pin it down in the comments. Also, like Monica's website, I'll go ahead and I'll link that. And if there's um, YouTube channels for any of them, I'll link those as well in the first comment. Anyways, y'all. So let's take away, uh, take a look at what we're using. Oops. There you go. All right. The razor is, it's my most like, I'm pretty sure it's my oldest double edge. And it was the second model of Gillette. Bam, Gillette single ring. You know it's a single or a double ring. The single ring is this little ridge that goes around this little ring. Double ring would have two. It is a three piece razor for those who's never seen one. And in most three-piece razors, you unscrew the handle, put the handle down, top cap, and the base plate separates on this. Kind of like going to remove the top cap from a Merker 34C or another two-piece razor. That comes out of the bottom. And then your top cap, you put your blade on, and it goes down into the handle of the single ring, like so. Drop this piece in and just spin it till it snugs up. And the thing is, if you find one of these old single rings or even a double ring out in the wild and this part's all broke and cracked and not worth a damn, as long as this piece is still there, just send the razor into Razor Emporium and have them put a new one of these tubes on there, like 20 bucks. Oh boy, that would have been fun. Hang on, guys. All right, guys. Accidentally made a little tiny mess here. But, like I said, Gillette Single Ring. It's from at least 1908 and it is made in Canada. And um, the blade in it is a big bend stainless on its first use. The brush is another one that's quite old. I don't even know if the company is still around, but it's made by Rooney. This is a BB24 Best Badger Brush with this butterscotch ha handle, which these butterscotch handles, the material they used, used to make these vintage butterscotch handles was photosens photosensitive. So you would get it and it would be all white and then just sunlight hitting it over time turned it this beautiful butterscotch color. And I'm not sure what the size of the knot is, but it's an all right knot. And like I said, it's best badger. The soap we're going to be using is, it's in a Vanderhagen apothecary mug. Mm. It is Fine Soap El Orange Noir. Mm. I got this one from Dennis a while back, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of water in here. I'm not going to be mixing in the bowl because I'm mixing it up in this mug. All right, be back in a minute. All right, guys, as you can see. A nice little bit of lather on the brush there in the apothecary mud. So I'm gonna wet my face. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I just got my face wet. Let me dry my hands. It's best badger, it's a bit floppy, but you know, it works. Yeah, I had the chance to buy this one, or when I got this one, over on Etsy, this brush. I also had a chance to pick up a, um, well, I had a choice either this one or a Simpsons, which had, I guess, quite a bit of patina on the handle. And, um, 
I wasn't going to buy it to sit there and let it look pretty. You know, for everybody to go, ooh, I bought it so I could use it. Or I buy brushes to use. One more, guys. There we go. First pass with the single ring with the growth. Oh yeah. It's just mowing through the whiskers. These big big bin blades are not bad at all. Think I think I actually got these blades in a well my girlfriend ended up buying me a 1939 Gillette Senator, absolutely beautiful condition. Um, I believe this was the blades. Oh, gotta go with the growth. But these are the blades the gentleman sent. By the big end blades. With the blades the gentleman sent with the razor. From Vintage Blades, I think it's called. Ah, that was very nice. Uh, my back's showing up quite nice. Um, I can bend over to put a bowl of food down for my dog. Um, which I couldn't do there for a bit. I'm only doing two passes. So I was very happy to do that on the 27th. So next week, I go in and they're going to see how my back is doing and all that good stuff. Um, I can say I haven't been dealing with as much pain in my back. Honestly, say now that the majority of the recovery is done, um, I'm not feeling as much pain in my back. I'm still stiff as heck when I wake up and our weather's changing from summer to fall. Um, weather, so. So, a couple of past mornings. It's been pretty warm and, uh, I mean, pretty chilly. Which, I don't mind, I sleep with my bedroom window open anyhow. Very close, very, very close. So, not too more has been waking up and it's been like, ooh, chilly. And she has mowing the whiskers down real close.
Very close, as a matter of fact. And the brush, the Rooney Eagle Best Badger brush, which it's actually called the Be uh, Rooney BB24. Um, very nice, very nice brush. A little floppy, but I bought, I knew it would be floppy when I got it. Uh, Cause I don't think they went for real tight packed knots. But yeah, so, like I said, my back's doing pretty good. Thank you, everybody, for the comments you made. Um, there's a couple of guys I still need to re re respond to. Uh, Mike, Double Edge, and Topin Feathers. I need to respond to him as well. Um, but if either of you guys are watching, thanks for the comments. So... Okay. One minute, guys. Oh. Probably seeing my bald spot up here in the camera. <laughs> yeah. All right. Dang it, still got some salt. Be back one more time. Hey, guys. Let me get a drink of water and then we'll hit the alum. Alum block. I need to get another one. So I want to get another razor rock alum stick. I like those. Not too bad as far as the burning goes. But yeah, I really like that Gillette single ring. Always gives such a very awesome close shave. All right, guys, um, I'm going to cut away, rinse off this alum, and then I'm going to go ahead and shave my head, and I'll be back for the post. See you in a minute. All right, guys. That was a pretty good shave. Um, didn't quite miss a spot down here. Oh, this is a little spot where I didn't get real close. I'm not worried about it. But all in all, my neck is great down here in my trouble spots. That single ring went ahead and cleaned it up real nice. Um, hang on, got a little soap behind my ears, behind my ear. But yeah, that single ring did an excellent job. I'm really happy to have that razor in the rotation. Um, yeah, it's a good razor. Uh, not not an American-made single ring, but you know, Canada is kind of just like America. But uh, I forget the joke. I forget the joke. It wasn't, it wasn't rude or anything, but it was kind of funny. Anyways, so yeah, the blade I used in that single ring was a Big Ben Stainless, which I believe is an Egyptian blade. The soap, El Orange Noir by Fine Soaps in my Vanderhagen Apothecary mug. It's got this little cool like mushroom nub here to hold on, hold on to it. The brush. Made in England, Rooney BB24 Best Badger Shaving Brush made for Brooks Brothers um, from the 1930s, early 30s, I do believe. And, um, you know, it's not a bad knot. It's not got the greatest backbone, but, you know, it's the best badger knot. What do you want? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so let's do the... Thing, I'm not going to go ahead and use uh, what you call it. Um, oh, 
we'll shoot uh, Witch Hazel, because I'm out. This, I'm not sure why it is. I'll put it in the title. My head, used the Leaf Triple Blade Razor. Absolutely amazing job, wonderful job. There we go. Ah, that feels nice. One sec, guys. There we go. Since it's an orange scented um, soap, I'm going with Maggart's Orange Menthol Aftershave. Wonderful, wonderful scent. The lady, I believe her name is Maria Armin. She uh, makes soaps, the Through the Fire Fine Craft soaps. And um, she's also the artisan that makes the maggots razors um house soaps and uh or the maggot brand soap ah, now that smells nice turn my hands off all right, guys, I want to thank all of you for, for sticking with me. If you're still with me at this point, thank you. Um, for all the new subscribers, thank you. And like I said, I will be linking them in the um, pin section of the comments along with Monica, so, um, my, uh, Monica's website, uh, Vanillae. Anyways, guys, y'all take it easy, and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. All right, bye-bye now.